Good morning. Thanks for coming to the Vinny Van channel. Once again, the growth keeps happening. I can't stop it. Several of you on a daily basis seem to come and find something about this channel that might interest you or intrigue you. And so, you keep me going, people. You keep me going. And every time I come out here, it's beautiful. It's Wilhelmina. It's beautiful, but it's windy. I don't know how windy it is, but oh, it's like you can't escape it, you know? thinking on the way over here this morning of that one guy who goes around saying trust fall and he falls on people big dude he just turns around and they're like nah. and a lot of people see him come and they're like it's that guy from the video he's gonna fall on me 400 pounds of crushing weight. It got me thinking about I don't know, sort of how I feel. I, I feel like uh, like a real trust fall is kind of happening. And as I inch closer towards you know, getting out there and daily things happen in life, you know. You just do not know what's coming next. You cannot have really a clue on what life's gonna throw at you next. And, and so all we can do is, you know, trudge forward through the chaos or whatever. And I think that's why I am such a dang last minute, spare the moment, clutch type of guy. Always have been. I feel like when you, it's great making plans. Some people are all about planning, writing it down. Six months from now, we're gonna do this. Or next year, this time, we're going on this vacation. Or, you know, they plan ahead. And, you know, they say a certain amount of planning, obviously, is a must. You got to you gotta plan if you want to, you know, succeed. Excuse me while I trans treat my hands for this. But, um, yes, the truth is that a certain amount of planning is always awesome. And, uh, and it's needed in life. And I do, obviously, I have some things that I plan and particular things that I put together, let's say. But I don't have a book. And I'm definitely not months and months out. I'm more of a spare of the moment. Hey, how about we do this type of guy? So when I see somebody throwing, you know, a bag and a old piece of foam into a van or a car, I relate. I get it, but I seriously feel like I'm that person that's blindfolded. I'm blindfolded Vinny, just waiting to see what the actual outcome is, trusting that things are going to happen just how they need to, And uh, but there's nothing new. There's nothing new when it comes to me planning something and doing something last minute. But with this thing, with this whole van life transaction and leaving a business and heading out on the road with what I got, you know, and starting a YouTube channel, that's some next level stuff. You know what I mean? That's next level. 
for me at my age to be making uh, changes like this and taking chances like this it's a big deal and it's not often you meet people uh, that are similar to you in that sense so basically what I'm saying is um, I feel like a trust fall man I feel like you know here you go right over here this might be noisy if this is noisy I really apologize the sound I got a I got a new Rhodes mic and the sound might be you know not so great but here you go we're on this we're about you know four feet up on this maybe five up on this thing here there's quite a fall someone led me here blindfolded blindfolded Vinny look at that thing man it is getting long good lord I hide it in a hat most of the time but uh yeah it's one of those things where ooh, I feel like I'm blindfolded Vinny you led me here I've just got to trust I'm, I'm gonna trust and just fall back I don't know what's behind me And I feel very vulnerable. <laughs> I feel very vulnerable. But uh, you know what? It's matters of the heart. And uh, when the heart says, uh, this is what you're doing, you gotta do it. And you don't know how long it's gonna last and you don't know how far you'll take it. But your intentions are there. For me, God knows that I would wish I was, you know, 20 years younger and could throw caution to the wind. And trust me when I say I've got everything already. Wilhelmina is, you know, packed full of all the stuff. And, um, but the thing of it is, I'm just not in the position in life to be as, uh, you know, to be as crazy as I used to be. At this point in my life, um, I'm in my 50s. I've had successes, I've had failures. I'm not afraid to fail, I'm not afraid to take chances. But I am in a position that most people my age would say, oh no, this is not happening. But I'm also in a position where um, I've never been before um, since I was very young. So basically, I had the opportunity. The window, the doors flew open and God says, trust fall. Trust me, just, it's not throwing caution to the wind, it's throwing my cares, casting my cares upon him because he cares for me. That's what it is. And I know that God loves me. I know that I'm loved and I know that he has never failed me, ever. I've been in some hairy situations and he has always come through for me, always. And you can call it whatever you want. I call it God, I'm not afraid or offended to say that. And if you call it something else, good for you. I'm, I'm totally with you. I respect you. <coughs> whatever it is that you're doing, for whatever reason, then he's not here to judge anybody. I'm here to pretty much lay out my experience on the way to uh, a van life type of existence. And when I think of it, I think, oh, this could be long-term. This could totally go a long way. But then I look at my van and I go, I'm gonna have to upgrade at some point. Probably not that far in the future because I'm a, you know, I'm just under six foot and I need space, you know, need to breathe. 
but I am also not picky and I'm not, uh, you know, I don't even know what you can call it. I'm definitely someone who can live with little and is satisfied with little and can make things happen with less than what you need. But I don't have less than what I need. I have put money into this van. This van is a, and we're not done yet. We've got things to do. I'm looking at doing the uh, truck liner, bed liner on the front and back bumpers and down the sides. So it'll be black. Also, the swing away hitch on the back is not there yet with the spare tire, like a Jeep type style. I'm going to be getting new tires. Um, possibly, hopefully, a new battery. Another, another power source because I have a 12 volt refrigerator that needs to be running all day every day so you know power is a it's a thing you need it i mean i've got the one 700 watt battery but i think i might need another thousand watts or something because i haven't got the max fan going yet and i don't have the refrigerator going and when you have weather and if you know vinnie I'm the kind of guy who needs air. I can't, uh, I can't abide heat and um, humidity. So, need the power to run the max fan and the refrigerator every day, and have enough to charge. Have enough. I have a 200 watt power solar panel, and and it should charge things even in low light. And um, so anyway, I feel like I have what's adequate to get by out there. I have a lot more than what's adequate, actually. I feel like um, I'm definitely in a position to do van life a little better even than some who just don't have all the things. So I've been blessed. Like, this van may not be someone's ideal ride. When they look at me, you know, in my 50s driving a minivan, they might not think I'm too cool. <laughs> and that's okay, because I'm not trying to make anyone think I'm cool, except for y'all. Um, but this is a full-on trust fall, you know. And I, I realized this morning when I was on the way over here, I thought, you know what? It's totally like that. I feel as if I have everything in control and nothing at all in control. So, thank God for you guys, you know, people that actually tune in and watch. I know that I have, you know, 500 plus, you know, we're cruising into the 600 realm and it's growing a lot quicker than it used to, it seems like, because, you know, every 10 more I get, I'm close to another milestone of another 100. I haven't reached 600 yet, but I would like to get uh, this channel to the level of monetization. And I know that each level brings uh, a, a more growth and more rapid, steady growth. So that's exciting. Um, I'm not even out there yet. I do these. Um, and if you're new to this channel, you, you uh, probably don't know. But if you're new to this channel, basically it is my journey to van life. I always thought, you know, nobody shares the journey to the ups and the downs and the decision making and how it, you know, unfolded. And, uh, you know, I'm a guy who lives in a van, who has a business and um, is getting ready to let go of that business. But the idea behind this channel was to uh, gain support and uh, obviously initially just have someone to talk to. <laughs> And so I walk and talk. I do these unedited things and I will always have that format on this channel in between edited videos. So yes, when it comes to um, keeping in contact and just, you know, 
when I'm not uh, making an edited video, I'll definitely do these walk and talks. I have some footage I need to edit. There's been some things happening that's slowed me down from doing those things, like the editing part and putting out edited videos. The uh, the Vinny the Vinny Van Comma Life um, series is basically the edited videos where I do something and I edit it and I share it with you. Um, and but the other thing is just the walk and talks these these kind of videos that are unedited so I hope you can appreciate that it makes it easier for me when I'm having downtime or when I'm a little distracted or things are stopping me from sitting down and editing uh, I can still do these walk and talks and and just share what's on my heart but yeah I just had a picture of that guy uh, falling on people and even though it's a misrepresentation of a trust fall, it is like him saying, here, I'm trusting you, I'm falling, but it's really a joke because he's just trying to crush people. Um, and, you know, if he was truly a trust falling, he might not want to do it that often because he'd probably fall back on his head and hurt himself at some point. But I'm trusting God in this, and I seriously um, have every intention of following through. I have every intention and desire to make this lifestyle, I'm, I'm, you know, there's just so many um, things going through my head about where I want to go. Definitely going to do California, San Diego, Tahoe, uh, big trees, possibly um, Eureka up there in the by anywhere near Eureka. Uh, that's where my family's at. My dad's buried there. Um, you know, so there's some beautiful areas coming our way. And, um, and it's going to be fun to share those, uh, trips with you and, and get out there and actually do this. But my intention is long-term, um, and see where it all goes. Just be having fun with it and sharing it with you along the way. So goodness gracious, quick 17 minutes of a video. Um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you. You know, goes without saying, without you, this channel doesn't exist. And, uh, and that will be factual and become more evident uh, over time as uh, I need you guys to watch and, you know, do all the good things with those buttons so that uh, we can prosper here on the Vinnie Van channel and make things happen, you know, to where, uh, to where it's uh, a success, you know. So, um, but I, you know, I honestly would rather never talk about that, never talk about like buttons and subscribing and sharing and every once in a while, you know, just to remind, but I don't know that it really does anything, you know, I personally have made it a habit to, when I watch somebody's video to like it and, uh, to be the good guy, you know, and just, you know, like the video. It's not that big deal. And that's what I do immediately, especially to all of the people that I subscribe to. I just like it. I get right to the channel. The first thing I do is push that thumbs up. And uh, and then we, we move on. But there is something going on with the algorithm, apparently. And um, and they're saying that uh, every so often YouTube changes it up where... You might not see the uh, videos that are that I'm putting out unless you click the bell, the bell, the notification thing. So, you know, there's something to do for people who are just watching, and there's obviously a lot for creators and influencers. So, um, we're just trying to stay on top of the game and and uh, get it out there so more people watch. You know, key to, it's the key to the success on YouTube and. And, you know, every if everyone did it just for fun on YouTube and it wasn't for a business opportunity or it wasn't for a, you know, um, a alternative way to make a living for a lot of people, uh, there would be nobody on YouTube. Like, you wouldn't have a YouTube to watch because those folks that are having success are bringing more people that want to have success and want to make videos and have certain kind of lifestyles or work for themselves or be able to stay home and just be creative 
and use their talents uh, to share with you, those people would not be able to do it unless they gain some kind of success and support on YouTube on the format. So it's a beautiful thing. I think y'all see it, understand it, you get it. And, uh, you know, the fact that I've been doing these walk and talks for what? Almost a year now, and I'm closing in on 600 subscribers. That's, uh, you know, I don't see 600 as a small number. I've done, as a musician, done a lot of musical concerts and shows at different venues of different um, sizes. And uh, I can tell you that the small venues are very intimate. And, uh, you know, 500, 600 people in a club is no joke. I have done plenty of those shows. Packed out clubs are insane. Those are fun, fun shows to do back in the day. And then you get to where, you know, you're playing bigger uh, halls and stuff. And, and uh, you know, it seems just bigger and more packed in. But it's there's something different about it. It's fun. It's still like, wow, all these people, you know. But it doesn't feel much different in a small club. And to me, I kind of relate things all back to my past experience. So, you know, that being said, having a small uh, subscriber base at this point, it doesn't phase me as being small or being insignificant. It's huge to me. I always think of it like, what if all these people were in one place watching a show? That would be pretty cool. So three, four, five hundred people inside of a small building is a is a it's a big event and it feels awesome. So thank you for being part of my small show. <laughs> and uh, it's a, it's a big deal that y'all come to Vinny Van and have some interest in what I'm saying and doing and where I'm headed with this. So uh, thanks so much. I do appreciate it. It's an awesome thing to go back to the channel and look and see you know four or five six more people have subscribed and just from videos that i've already done um so we're going to share more all when i when i uh do the van the the other uh, truck bed liner i'm not sure i'm going to film it it's basically just rolling it on and not exactly um uh, you know awesome material but uh it's gonna look good you'll definitely see that um so anyway i gotta get going work is happening i'm booked out today and tomorrow off on thursday there are th personally things happening in my life that um i don't share yet and uh it's a uh, it's a thing where like i said trust fall it's like happening in every area of my life you know where I've, I feel like I'm blindfolded and having just to, okay, let's hope they're there. Let's hope someone's there to catch me. And I trust the Lord. I do. I think uh, in these times, especially, I've had questions about gas prices and about all that stuff. But, you know, the truth is we're in, we're in the situation we're in. You can live in fear or you can live boldly and uh, with, with courage. And that's the way I want to live. So um, I'm not worried. I think that uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. And um, it's going to be a, a great time of uh, creativity and learning. And I'm just excited. So uh, we'll see when exactly it's going to start. Um, summer's here, basically. It's hot. I can't survive in this van in that hot weather, it'd be really tough on me, and I'm not really, I don't even have the max fan hooked in yet, so I'm shooting for, you know, July, August, and um, we'll see how things go. Bear with me. Thank you for being a subscriber, and thank you for being that person that just hits the like button because you support. I love that, and uh, God bless you guys. Have a great week because it's going to be awesome. And if it ain't, just make it awesome. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.